Hey guys, my name is Billy Harris, your favorite performance optimization guinea pig, and I'm back again with another video in which I'm talking about 12 essential technologies for entrepreneurs to achieve next level performance. Let's dive straight into it. In the wise words of Peter Drucker, what gets measured gets managed. Now this very much applies to our health as it also applies to every other facet or the variable of our life, including finances, business performance, etc. Similar to how, for example, as an entrepreneur who's creating a business or working in a startup, or obviously leveling up in terms of generating more revenue, you're gonna be checking your profits and losses every month. You must do the same when it comes to your health and performance. Performance optimization requires a huge dedication to health. And this is something we prioritize with all of the clients that I personally work with in the peak performance program. They, they check every single metric when it comes to their health and performance see the metric breakdown, see what they can improve further and see what they can optimize more so or kind of their weak points because that metric data is so, so important when it comes to optimizing your health and also assessing the kind of foundation level of your health. So that, that quote is very much, is, is very significant when it comes to the concept of performance optimization for entrepreneurs that we work with. Health optimization requires behavior change and tracking is very, very beneficial when it comes to actually eliciting behavior change. So for example, let's say, you, as an analogy I like to refer to, let's say for example, you think you have a million pounds in your bank account but you can't check your banking data. How on earth are you to tell that you have a million pounds in that bank account? And the same applies to your health. Let's say, for example, you, you tell people that you're healthy, you're optimized, your sleep is optimized. If you can't check the metric data, which is gonna inform you of that, whether or not that is the case, you have no idea what you're talking about. You have no idea what to improve, what your weaknesses are, what your strengths are, and which variables you need to optimize further. So if you want to get better at something, measure it. It is as simple as that. Now, why is measuring so important? Well, measuring and tracking creates feedback loops. And obviously feedback loops are incredibly important when it comes to progression, continuously over a period of time, and obviously years, months, etc. Visualizing success through data accelerates the rate of adoption of behavior as well, particularly for the clients that I work with. Um, obviously being very elite level individuals, people that are pushing the boundaries at all times. They always want feedback, they always want data, they always want to see where their weaknesses are, what their flaws are, and how they can further improve that. Quantify that and then see the progression they're making as well in terms of that feedback loop, the positive feedback loop. It's gonna ingrain that habit, it's gonna make things much more rewarding. Similar to, for example, if you want to lose weight, you're gonna to want to step on the scale and see the scale go down, the number on the scale go down, right? Very, very simple. The same comes to every variable of your health and performance and even objectives when it comes to your focus, output, etc. Very, very important. Now, let's dive straight into these 12 technologies that I want to refer to when it comes to optimizing your performance as an entrepreneur. And this obviously applies more so when it comes to your output and efficiency with work and the amount of work you can get done a given day and therefore, obviously, scale of your business as well. So when it comes to habits, I'd use coach.me and we'll put that on screen screen as well in the edit of this video. The reasons to why this contributes to your health is very, very simple. It's gonna add accountability and the tracker holds you accountable to day-to-day -day activities. So something which I'd incorporate as your first piece of technology. Moving on to our second piece of technology, we have Todoist. Now again, when it comes to contributing to your health and obviously performance, it's gonna be a place in which you can store all your thoughts, to-dos and things in your mind, which is very important for type A personalities or individuals dealing with a lot of stress or things on their plate, obviously balancing multiple businesses all at once. Todoist is a great tool to manage that as well. Moving on to our third here, in terms of storing obligations and due dates, I'd definitely be utilizing Google Calendar, something which all of our clients utilize as well and is our third piece of technology on this list today. In terms of putting things or information into an external diary or basically downloading your brain and its thoughts, I'd personally use Evernote. It's gonna allow you to organize and recall information very, very well, something which you can actually look for information on as well. So it's a great piece of technology to be utilizing and it's something which again, all of our entrepreneurs that we work with generating six, seven, eight figures utilize on a daily basis with either themselves or obviously with their teams as well. Now, when it comes to optimizing, assessing and actually tracking your sleep data and also your health metric data, I'd personally be obliged to be utilizing an aura ring. Your brain cannot perform without its optimal sleep being in place. Okay, it's very, very simple in terms of your cognition, in terms of memory function, in terms of um, emotional stability as well. Your brain is significantly impaired if you are not optimizing your sleep. Wearing your aura ring will inform you of how your sleep quality is looking day to day, week to week, month to month, your weaknesses and what you need to improve moving forward in order to get those high readiness scores on a daily basis and obviously optimize your sleep quality. When it comes to tracking movement and activity on a daily basis, I'd personally be inclined to be utilizing either an Apple Watch or a Garmin watch. And um, the reason why is they're the most accurate tools in terms of tracking metric data with sports and activity. So definitely get your hands on one of the other, one of the two. I'm personally a massive Apple fan. I like everything being Apple, obviously, for example, like my iPad, um, even my Apple computer here as well. Um, sorry, my laptop, my MacBook Pro, my phone, everything Apple. So for me, Apple Watch is my preference here. When it comes to tracking time, I utilize rescue time. Now, obviously time is one of our most valuable assets. It's very hard to buy. You're either rich in time or you're rich in terms of your finances. One or the other, very, very simple. So in terms of utilizing your time efficiently, 
extremely important for the clients that we work with that are wanting to push the boundaries for their business, obviously scale and reach new, new heights, create more generational wealth, etc. Tracking your time is going to be really interesting in terms of informing you where your time is being wasted in your day. Okay, that's really, really important metric data as well to be quantifying, assessing, and then utilizing moving forward. So for example, you may notice that by tracking your time, your screen time is creeping up to four to six hours per day. Imagine if you remove those four to six hours of wasted time on your phone and put them back into your product, into your business, into communication with your team, into further education, you're gonna be 10, to 10 steps ahead of where you would be normally speaking as well. When it comes to measuring things that go into your body in terms of macronutrients and also food sources, I've utilizing chronometer. And again, it's something which our clients utilize if they're not too familiar of nutrition in terms of the pillars or concepts that we apply with them. It's gonna essentially inform you what you're putting into your body and whether or not that hinders your body or creates more energy uh, moving forward as well in terms of fueling yourself day to day. So very, very important as well. In terms of tools which are gonna to highlight what you need to be doing efficiently and things which are gonna move you further forward or move the needle further forward and optimize your focus, I'd be utilizing Alfred. When it comes to downloading information in a quick and efficient manner, and obviously basically analyzing the most succinct piece of information, the most prevalent piece of information in either a given book or an article online, I personally use Blinkist, or I listen to books with Audible. Personally speaking, I go for a walk first thing in the morning um, and I use Amazon Audible and I listen to an audiobook at 1.75 times speed for an hour. That enables me to get through a book a week roughly and therefore obviously in terms of the matter of the year, a lot of information is processed as well. A lot of information I can then drive into my obviously own personal development and my business also, which is great. When it comes to assessing your breathing work and the breath work you're completing on a daily basis, again, breath work is something which can be fairly hard to track and analyze in terms of your performance. I personally utilize heart math in a balance. It's gonna give you feedback in terms of how you can balance your nervous system and whether you're going from parasympathetic to sympathetic or the other way around on a daily basis. Obviously the clients we work with are working in highly stressful environments. They're under a lot of stress in terms of their financials, in terms of wanting to scale, obviously managing team members, obligations to clients, et cetera. So this is really important when it comes to breath work and how that's gonna contribute or either be negative to their performance as well. Now, when it comes to other pieces of technology or other tools that are utilized to optimize your performance and get yourself to a high level, there's a few things that I haven't actually incorporated on the list, but just thinking of it now, I would definitely incorporate on a daily basis. One of them being a standing desk, which you guys can see behind me right now. This is really important when it comes to incorporating more activity into your day, and in particular, in between work blocks. So if, for example, you're working at your desk for eight hours of a day, it's gonna be very difficult to stay at a high level of productivity and efficiency if you're not incorporating physical movement in that given day. So I personally alternate between working on a standing desk and then walking, working in a seated position like I am doing right now. Obviously, in terms of other pieces of technology, blue light blockers, they're a massively advantageous product to utilize on a daily basis when it comes to optimizing your sleep and your circadian rhythm, something which is a very low hanging fruit. Not particularly expensive as an investment, something for um, blue blocks, for example, like the glasses I'm wearing right now. Obviously, I have my orange lenses for when I am, um, when it's past 8 p.m. primarily speaking as well in terms of optimizing melatonin production, but that's in other videos. Um, you could also utilize a red light therapy tool like Juve. Um, this is actually one of the more cost, well, high cost products on the market right now. Um, there's a lot cheaper versions of this, which are equally as good, but personally speaking, I just picked up the Juve tool. Actually, another piece of tech I'd, I'd pick up would be the Philip Hue lights. So my Philip Hue's lights in my apartment, they personally wake me up at seven o'clock in the morning without fail. There's no need for any other tech. That's an automated process. It enables me to get up at that same time every single day without having any tech in my room. Therefore, my sleep start and end times are much more consistent. So another piece of tech I pick up, which is very, very cheap, very cost effective, very efficient, would be the Philip Hue lights. That also applies in terms of optimizing light quality and obviously the, the actual light source you are exposing yourself to on a daily basis, particularly in the hour, uh, hours in the evening, for example, between, let's say, in the UK at the moment, obviously it's winter, um, 4 p.m. until the time you go to sleep. Obviously exposing yourself to red lights will be more beneficial than exposing yourself to high levels of blue lights, which are more present in obviously normal light bulbs. So Philip Hue lights as well would be a great piece of technology. So I think a really simple hack when it comes to optimizing performance as well, particularly when it comes to cognition and um, optimizing focus and output is removal of all tech in itself in terms of your phone. Uh, the reason as to why, again, is, is the process or kind of like the, the thought process of activation energy. So those of you guys that aren't aware of this concept, essentially switching from task to task requires a high degree of activation energy and essentially drains you of willpower and your ability to actually get stuff done pretty much more or less. Okay, It's going to drain you of that, that, that battery that you have. 
If you are checking your phone frequently, if your screen time is high, if you're being distracted in the middle of deep work blocks, it's gonna take you at least 15 to 20 minutes to get back into that task. That could account for roughly an hour and a half, two hours per day in which you are wasting just by switching between tasks. If you're looking at notifications on Slack, if you're looking at your emails all the time, again, the same principle applies here. So in terms of wanting to optimize your productivity, focus and output, remove your phone. Make sure at least between the periods of maybe 8 a.m. to two o'clock in the afternoon, in your deep work blocks, you're not accessing any other form of technology other than your computer. You're not checking your notifications, no emails, no Slack, no WhatsApp, no Facebook, no external sources of dopamine. That'd be one of my main hacks for focus, productivity and output, which we incorporate with our clients. In today's video, I probably listed at least 15, 16 pieces of technology I'd utilize on a daily basis to make sure your performance is at a very high level. And obviously your focus and output is matching that. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions you have in the comments as always. Subscribe to the channel and let me know which videos you guys want to see moving forward as well so I can obviously produce that content for you. Thanks for watching.